but the reason why I cloaked back there is just out of force of habit. I always cloak. It saves it saves it saved my butt more times than I care to count. And this gives me a bit of a view. And that's why I didn't go that way. <laughs> Alright, so you have to deal with quite a few Ceph. No cell. Like I said, the last cell was in that island, so I hope you enjoyed it. From now on, it's just stone cold aliens. But not they're not all that bad. They're quite squishy. A little bit. Oh man! Look at the calving on this thing. Alcatraz, listen. All this bedrock is just hanging off the lithoship structure. It's completely unstable. Could go at any time. You gotta watch for stress fracturing. I just heard three cell troops drop in, and you're about to face them. But in the meantime, you're good here, so they don't come down this ridge. You're good. And what Goo just said there about stress fracturing, that's gonna break off. That's gonna break off. Don't stand on either of them. You can kick that off the edge, which is quite amusing. There's also a floating piece of rock. Right there. But right here, there is nothing much to be concerned about. Those three Ceph that you probably just heard in the background drop in are a little over that ridge. And in turn, we get to use our good old friend, the explosives, to take care of them. And I wish I had a scarab or a scar. Makes it so much easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is that right before the final boss, or leading up to the final boss says, as you've seen throughout the game already, I'm going to stop recording there, and I really need to get to sleep, because it is currently 2.38 in the morning, and I have work to do in the morning quite early, so I'll stop it after the next little bit, which won't be that long. So yeah, we drop down here. There, see what I mean? I think he knows, Gould. Like I said, just don't stand there and you're fine. And also, floating rock. And you can have a little fun with this taxi, just in case you have anything against taxis, you can kick it off the edge into oblivion. And it's gone. I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> Floating rock. Um, yeah, so just around the corner is the Ceph troops. So I'm going to switch over to the explosives. There, there, and there. Only three. Not that bad. So, do this guy. We just dumped the taxi off the edge. He's gonna turn around and walk that way. That guy is also gonna follow suit, turn around and walk that way. What you're gonna do? Explosive right there, and then you're gonna draw him in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna treat back to right here, just in this little alcove, and wait for him to stand on top of it, then detonate. But. We have to draw them in, and that's the hard bit. So what I tend to do is this. Just stand here, be a little bit back, and when he turns around, he's gonna notice. And he runs away. Why is he running away? Oh, right. Reinforcements. Where did they land? I don't have a clue where they landed. That's odd. I really want this guy to move into the correct position because I want to blow him up. Come on. 
Oh, he's stuck. Yeah, this happens. See, Sephir squids, and eventually their legs break down, and they no longer know how to move. So they do the infinite step walk, which is quite amusing, really. So no C4 today, sadly. Oh. heard more guys drop in, but where? Eh, screw it, who cares. Alright, so these two appear to be quite closely clustered. So I think let's go with the M17 frag grenade. Grab behind this crate to recharge. Hello, thank you. Do another quick check. Oh yeah, there's a couple jaws and more weapons up here for your next fight. Which is, I consider it one of the best stages in the entire game. But this grenade I'm about to throw it doesn't always work. The reason why I say that is that sometimes they notice. Oh. Now he is going to run away, to get away from the grenade, presumably. But that other guy just stood there like an idiot and blew him up. So I'm not going to go chasing after this guy. He's going to have to come after me. There we go. I didn't even get shot at. I suppose what you can do is you can just power kick this into them. That would be quite fun. But the next bit is remarkably fun. And for it, we're going to do a little bit of sniping. semi attack assault squad. What you do, ignore everything there, get in here. This place is your haven. And we're going to overview the battlefield from here. You have a grunt, a grunt commander, a heavy, a grunt commander, a grunt, a grunt, a grunt commander, and a grunt. Now, if you've played Far Crisis 2 all the way up to this point, you know that there will be more as there always is. So, there's a turret right there, just in case you decide to go loud. You can blow everybody's blains out from there. You can use the which here, which is ambush. Do not use this one. I got killed so many times trying to use that one. Or you can use the flanking maneuver, which I would not recommend because it drops you basically right on top of that heavy. After you finish dealing with these four, he is walked halfway over and he's basically sitting on your head. So, but this place is your safe haven. Stay here. If you ever need a place to hide, stay here. Is it? Is it? Oh yes, it's a spec up scarab. Oh, thank you. Now, the reason why this place is good is that I have only ever, throughout my three times in playing this game, seen a Ceph come as close as right here. He'd never got inside, cause probably because he's too damn tall. So I just stay crouched right here, and he never noticed. Likewise, with the Ceph unit that sometimes walks around here. I stay crouched here, they don't notice. 
Sometimes I have to shift over here. And sometimes I have to, have to shift over here. Either way, they don't notice. But enough of standing in this crate, which you will learn to love this crate. This crate is your best friend ever. Everything else is trying to kill you. This crate is your best friend. It's also got grenades. And grenades are awesome. Anyway, let's take a quick look. But before we do that, always recharge your energy. So what we got here... Oh shit, now I see them. They're everywhere! Alcatraz, listen to me! Barclay's expeditionary guys got into the park yesterday before they were driven back. And Cell had an evac base here as well. Look for ammo caches. You're gonna need all the firepower you can get. Right. She has a point. You are going to need all the ammo and all the guns and all the other explosives you can get. Why? Grunt. Commander. Grunt. Grunt. Grunt commander. Another grunt. Right, right there. I can't really see him. And grunt commander. And there's a grunt right there. And then Mr. Heavy is right there. Now, if you do this unsuccessfully, or you accidentally, one of them sounds the alarm, three more guys land on that ridge. They will either walk around and drop down, or they will just drop down from right there. Now the temptation might be to hide in this tube, stealth kill this guy, and then blow up whoever comes close. Bad idea. Another temptation. Take the flanking maneuver, go around here, start taking him out from behind. Another bad idea. Why? That heavy. He is the monkey wrench to your plans. Option number three. Use turret. Blow everything away in the battlefield. Bad option. Why? They can swarm you quite easily. There's just too many of them. If you detach the turret in time, maybe. If not, you're hooped. So, I like to call this crate option four. Because one, two, and then three. Right there. Crate option four is sniping. I like to snipe. People don't like it when I get to snipe. Well, I say people. They're really more like squids. So, yeah. Anyway, so... Just like I said, we're going to snipe, and we're going to snipe a lot. So, first thing we're going to snipe... Oh, another thing I should mention. That heavy is going to be launching constant missiles at you. This crate is missile-proof. Nothing, nothing it does will ever damage you inside of here. It can send all the missiles it want right here, but it will never be able to touch you inside of the crate. Like I said, crate is your haven. But enough of me talking. Let's shoot some stuff. Like I said, they're gonna shoot this place. But they're never actually going to be able to hit you. Watch this. See? He walks right there. There's the missile. It hits. Doesn't hit you. Remarkable. This guy gets up here. Take every opportunity you can to recharge your your cloaking energy. It saves you so much time. That heavy will be continually firing on your position. But like I said, they never venture inside the crate. Oh, another missile. So, they all jump back down, oh, missile, into their posts. That gr that heavy will continually send missiles at you, it, it doesn't really matter, just hide in the crate. The crate will save your life. Now what the, gr the heavy has a peculiar habit of doing, is no matter where you are, well, that one didn't explode. He will track your position. Let's see, watch, I'm standing right here. And the next time I shoot, no matter if I have full cloak energy, he will know exactly where I am and he will fire at me. 
that can be determined as bad game code. I just call it creative edge. So they've all gone back to their posts, minus the guy who stood right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate by numbers. One by one by one by one, and then one case, or two cases, two by two. So, I think this guy will be our next victim. Or not. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, this is new. This guy's still alive. Don't worry about him yet. You get to stealth kill him later. You might, you could if you wanted to, do a quick flanking maneuver, stealth kill that guy, quickly recharge, walk back and back over here. You could do that. I'm not going to do that, but you could. Just give me options. So, what should I do? Yeah, I think it's going to be that guy. Alright, so... There. More down. Didn't even take a peek. And now what they're all going to do is they're all going to swarm this position. What you could have done is set up C4 outside and just waited for them to get close. See those wave things? Oh, he's on top. They don't actually penetrate the crate. They will go through the crate, but they will never actually penetrate it. Another reason why the crate is awesome. But see, they never go inside the crate. They can try but they will never actually go inside. That guy came close. I was a little nervous there for a second. <laughs> and they've all backed off once again. Alright, now I believe after you kill four or three of them, and I've already up to two, they will spawn more somewhere. And I believe another heavy lands. But now they have changed their patterns. Ever so slightly. There are more patrols along the front, even though this guy steadily moves back. And they're more concentrated up there. Where is he? There he is. Lost track of him for a second. I got a little nervous. Okay. Well, that was successful. They've all retreated back up there except for this guy. Who, have you noticed, is not the same guy. So, he's going to be our next victim. That took away more shots than usual, I apologize for that, my aim was a little bit bad there. But... He's dead, and as you may notice, they might advance a bit. I'm gonna use this opportunity to take out... That guy. Four left, incoming missile. No damage. The crate is your friend. <laughs> 